Week 3 SFL continues this evening from the Hive in Atlanta, Georgia, as the Atlanta Swarm hosts the Houston Headhunters. Good evening, everybody. I am Mike Daggs on Play by Play, and I come into this game with a heavy heart. My longtime broadcast partner, Matt Wilson, is no longer with us, passed away on July 15th, a week ago today. We had see a four wide receiver set coming out onto the field. Dynasty play action. Going deep over the middle, has his man, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. It is Boo, medium rare, Chisholm himself getting into the end zone for six. Second down and about two. Wells with the spin, and he gets the first down and a little bit more, crossing midfield up to about the 45-yard line. Burr. Gets the pass out into the hands of Wells, and uh, he did he he did have more stats than that. This is uh, uh, four and four on the season so far. This one from way downtown, from the left hash, it is up and it is good from 49. So Houston's first possession didn't go quite as well as Atlanta's, but they are on the board. He's uh, he's bigger than me. Five wide receivers on third down and ten, and that pass is going to go for enough yards for a first to. None other than Dr. Sim. He told him to shut it down. GP Wells, eight carries on the day. Another flag, and this oh, one's no. going to go for big yards. Dr. Sim, and he's almost all the way to the end zone, tackled at about the one-yard line. The official SFL rule. Now Wells gets another shot at it, and just like that, Waltz is in for six. I don't even think he got touched that time. Gerald, he's in the end zone. Touchdown for Houston. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, but look at his completion percentage already. He's at about 50%, 50 just barely over. And still back to the air, going over the middle, this time into double coverage. Somehow that one is caught. Well, it's to boot Chisholm again, so that's how it's caught. I'll, I'll power through. You're doing great. Dynasty, play action, because of course he's not going to hand it off, but he does throw it over the middle into quadruple coverage. But hey, it's a completion. What do I know? Chisholm's over 100 yards now on the day. 113 on seven catches. Eight plays so far in this drive, 55 yards, 20 away from the end zone. Second down and 10. Short drop by Dynasty, throws over the middle into traffic once again. Completion up at the five yard line. First down and goal now, getting it back into the hands of Siege Falco. If you're gonna throw it to BDG, you gotta throw it to him a little bit, a little bit sooner than There's that. so many players on the field. Dynasty throws complete, turns up field and into the end zone. Touchdown for Atlanta. Vinamore with his second catch. This one goes for six. It just shows what we know <laughs> that BDG can, you know, the, the great decoy have, have minimal production. Two backs in the backfield, three wide receiver set. I see a disturbing lack of tight ends on the field, but to each their own. Burr throws out this one up to the top, and that one is complete for yet another first down. See what they can do here on this one. Burr to throw, steps up into the pocket, fires over the middle, has his target, and it is complete for a first down hauled in by Mike St. Green. First down and 10 from the Atlanta 34-yard line. And if you look at the stats... Uh, Houston, so far this season, they're a top five team in rushing yards per game, but they're near the bottom of the league in passing yards per game. So maybe they thought, well, let's see if uh, we can just stop that rushing attack. And uh, But now the passing attack's actually burning them. Another completion for another first down. This time at the 18-yard line, they're back in the red zone. That's best in the league, so maybe they thought they would just attack that secondary, which is ranked 21 right now. And Burr fires towards the end zone. That one is caught, and it's in the end zone for six. Mike St. Green, touchdown, Houston. There you go. And there goes BDG Hollywood. There he goes. And that's what he handed to Hollywood. Crossing the 40 all the way up to the 30. Breaks a tackle and brought down at the 26. Where have you been, sir? He's made six out of six so far this season. This is try number seven from... About 40 yards out, that one is up, and it is good. And we are all tied up here at 17 apiece. Second down and 10, Burr to throw. Fires down the middle again. That one's tipped, and it's taken away. Returning it back the other direction is Moose Papineau. He's got some blockers out in front, and he is up to the 29-yard line. Burr, deep drop. 
And finds a wide open steal on the left-hand side again. He's just working those tight ends on those out routes, Gerald. The protection from this offensive line is impressive. Doesn't want to do that here again. Third down and seven. He's going to throw it down the left-hand side, and that one is complete to Mike St. Green. First down and goal all the way down at the five. What a catch. He went up and got that ball. I didn't think he was going to be able to catch it because the defender was right underneath him, but as many guys would say, well, he mossed him oh. right there. Yeah, Moose Papineau went on the coverage again, too. He was trying to get another pick. Uh, we'll see what Wells can do now. It looks like they might go back down to him. Rushing attempt number 14 coming up, perhaps. He's already got one touchdown on the ground. Can he get another? Breaks a tackle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Hey, look at that. It's Hollywood. Look what Hollywood can do, Gerald. He can break for long runs. He spins, he breaks tackles, he jukes, he gets it all the way down to the Houston 35-yard line. Well, I tell you, I... Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> but, hey, you know, they, they, they're able to hit Siege Falco. They get a first down. Those out routes are working. They just have to be safe with that ball. Third, <laughs> third down and eight, four receivers set. And it's going to be a play action. Dynasty throws over the middle, and that one's good for a first down up to the seven yard line. It, it, it's still, it would still only be a one score game unless, of course, Houston's able to get even a field goal on their next drive. Then it's a two score game. He may as well go for three. And they do. The kick is up from 19 yards and good. It wasn't even a first down, it was just a seven yard pass. I'm not sure if I would have thrown the flag when it was that close. Hollywood gets the handoff, and he's off to the races again. He could go all the way this time, crossing the 30, 20, and he's going to be brought down at the 15-yard line. Every time he carries the ball, other than one, has been great. Dynasty out wide open into the end zone. Touchdown, and there you go. They take the lead. Kyle Finnamore in for his second touchdown reception of the day. He's averaging quite a bit more, but I'm kind of expecting to see a Dynasty throw, and we do. That one's going to be over the middle, and it's picked off. Oh, going back the other way. I don't think there's anybody in his path. He's going to take this one all the way back to the house. Returning it is Josh Rowe, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Gerald, that was a bizarre-looking play. I think the receivers got their routes mixed up. We're going to see here on the replay. It looks, yeah, it looks like, no, I do, looking back, I think Dynasty misplaced his ball. I think maybe he got confused who he wanted to throw to because they were yeah. crossing right in front of each other. Um, Boo tried to make the adjustment, but he just couldn't do it. There's a touchdown on the game as well. Dynasty to throw. There's the out route. This time getting into the hands of Chisholm again. Yeah, we'll have to see if that... Uh, Comes back to haunt them later on. It really all depends on how their defense performs. They've had three very successful drives on defense in a row. And that kick from 43 yards is up and good. Nearly half his yardage. Yeah, absolutely. All the rest have been uh, significantly less. Oh, Burr might just take it himself. Oh. I probably should have. And that one's picked off. I don't know what the flag is. Ineligible receiver downfield, perhaps? I'm not I'm not sure. But that one's picked away by Aquana Shine. Like we said earlier, he does it all. Dude, he was... Illegal forward pass. Nah, I don't think he was past the line of scrimmage, but yeah. I guess it's all kind of a, it's a moot point. You know, any points off turnovers is always great to get, and uh, in this case, even a field goal gives them the lead, but they're going to get a first down and more. Who else? Boo Chisholm, first and goal from the seven. But, uh, Butch Menor does indeed enjoy a good buffet, so that explains a lot. Offsides penalty, but it's not going to matter because... BDG Hollywood is in for an Atlanta touchdown. Flying all around the field, especially Shine and Blackwell. Bird, deep drop. He's going to go deep over the middle, and he's got his man. It's DR Sim off to the races, down to the 10. And he's brought down, tackled at the 11-yard line. Maybe maybe he, he they have two timeouts. Maybe he, he, he got a sneak look at it and realized that it wasn't worth challenging to lose that timeout. Yeah, let's see what Sonny J can do. And he kicks it deep into Atlanta's hands and returning the ball. Oh, I thought he, thought he might be able to start running with that one. But now that sets Houston, excuse me, Atlanta up in great starting field position already at the Houston 37-yard line. Atlanta Swarm comes away with the win, 37-34 to over the Houston Headhunters.